Okay, everyone, we're back with the Dirt Devil Endura Max Upright Vacuum. Just doing a quick update on this machine after a couple days of use. I'm just going to show you what the filters look like and everything. I did remove some of the hair off of the filter just because when I opened it, it kind of got everywhere, so I cleaned it off. But I didn't remove any of the dust. I just brushed the hair off with this vacuum brush right here and then sucked the pile up I made. But this is the Endura Max. It is Dirt Devil's mid-range machine it's not their little cheaper ones but it's also not their most expensive that's the razor vac but i would call this one of their mid-range machines the machine performs decently well the brush roll i will show you this is probably why it cleans well it has these soft bristles and then it has these stiffer bristles the soft ones are white the stiffer ones are gray but the reason it has these soft bristles is because it's made to clean hard floors it has this gasket right here as you can see this right here and that allows the machine to pick up dirt off of hard floors without scratching, which is unbelievably rare at this price. It has an airflow channel here, here, and here to allow to pull dirt from the sides and from the front. So it does a better job than a lot of vacuums at, whoops, at picking up fine debris like sand and little, and it does a better job at also picking up large debris. It's not the best, but it's not the worst but the soft bristles really do help on hard floors and they help sweep up debris and pick up litter and crumbs and stuff. So it does a pretty good job on the hard floors. I can agree with that. And that the fact that Dirt Devil says it's a multi-floor machine because it does clean hard floors. If you have hardwood floors, I would still not recommend it because it's got scratchy wheels and I would still be like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really want to trust my hardwood floors with this vacuum or any inexpensive vacuum I'd say like a hard floor specific machine would be a better option in my opinion but on carpets the brushes do a pretty good job at agitation on this rug it really agitates this rug well which is impressive but yep that's the cleaner head it does a pretty good job I'm going to show you the filters next to remove the filter you just twist it like that this is what the filter looks like. As I said, I brushed some, but not all of the hair off. But there is some dust if I go like this. Some dust comes off. But the Endura filter itself has not been cleaned. And as you can see, that Endura filter is basically spotless. So I'm gonna see how long it takes until we actually start seeing buildup on that Endura filter. I think keeping this sponge clean you should keep your Endura filter pretty clean if you keep the sponge clean. It does come with a turbo tool, this tool right here. The ones at Target and Walmart don't, only the Amazon one does. So if you're looking for this turbo tool, make sure to buy this machine from Amazon or you won't get the turbo tool. You'll see it in the pictures. Get this tube. You can also remove the handle and the handle also becomes a tube for extended reach. You also have this really basic tool right here, which is like a really basic crevice tool plus a pretty stiff dusting brush. I'd more like call that an upholstery brush. It's a little too stiff for dusting in my opinion. As a 25 foot cord, that's not great. That's not bad. That's average. I would say that that's good enough for a vacuum of this price because generally vacuums this inexpensive, I would say are for like apartment owners or smaller to medium houses you probably wouldn't get a vacuum like this if you owned a 4,000 square foot mansion <laughs> well 4,000 square feet isn't exactly a mansion but you know what i mean if you had that enough money to buy a gigantic house you'd probably buy a better vacuum this is for people who are on a budget so the cord isn't going to be as long but overall it does a pretty good job the filters are relatively clean i've only used it twice but i've used it twice like heavy used it twice like it's had a lot of dirt in it i've emptied the bin i think two or three times so overall it doesn't do bad at all i would give this probably a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 if they included i'd say uh if they could really include a, it's tough to say because if they included an actual cyclone cyclone like in abyssal clean view but then they have a foam filter instead of a pleated one. So it's kind of tough to say. 
the secondary post motor filter like this one right here it's just a piece of foam it's not even really a filter it's just to muffle the noise of the vacuum more than it is actually a filter I, in my opinion that's not really a filter it's not fine enough to actually capture any dust it's muffle for the sound but the hose is decently long again it's not too bad at all for this price point if you're looking for a larger size I would say medium size this isn't the biggest you'd have to go for the Enduramax XL which is a little bit wider the bin is a little bigger I think the motor is the same size but Overall, this is not too bad of a vacuum at all. This machine actually does a pretty freaking good job on carpet and a decent job on hard floors. The lack of airflow shows because if you clean something on this side, it will kind of scatter some of the debris. But generally, it does a decent job on hard floors. But I would recommend looking to a more expensive machine if you want to clean hard floors, like a lot of hard floors. If you have a ton of hard floors and only a little bit of carpet, get a stick vac. Don't get an upright like that's inexpensive if you want to get a machine that's good across hard floors and carpets you'd have to look into a machine in the 150 to 200 dollar range like the Bissell um, multi-clean and pet the Bissell power glide a shark navigator and a lot of other machines at that price would be a bit better the dirt devil razor back has a brush roll shut off but I don't know if it has rubber wheels but most of the Bissells do like the Bissell uh, power glide is all rubber so it won't scratch hardwood but anyways this is a pretty good vacuum it's not the best not the worst but it does a pretty good job if they would just give it a little bit of a better post motor filter maybe and that's really all i could think of would be maybe a longer cord but as i said mm, i think it's overall a pretty good machine it's not too loud it does the job a bit more airflow would be nice it scored under 1700 feet per minute on my anemeter so i think that's what it's called anemeter yeah this thing uh yeah so it didn't score the highest so my honest recommendation would be to really to check out a Bissell clean view if you're looking for something besides this but because the Bissell clean view is a bit more powerful but overall this dirt devil does a pretty good job so let me know what you think tell me what you want to see next I'll see you next time goodbye